Hey guys. I don't remember the last time I vlogged, but I'm gonna turn to my music. Um, currently I am re-cleaning my room, but like deep cleaning it and getting rid of stuff that I really don't need. So I just got rid of this little stereo. If you guys watch two of my videos, if you see the background, it has like two speakers right there and then I have a stereo down there, which I never use because my phone's loud enough and it's just never plugged in and I just don't like it. So I brought it upstairs and now it's like in storage up there. And now I'm trying to just clean this area up. I actually just got down from bringing the stairs. It's 8 09 right now. I woke up and I did the dishes because my dad last night told me to do the dishes. So I like did the ones that were easy that you can just put in the dishwasher because I was sleepy and I was going to sleep. So I did that and then I went to sleep. And then this morning I had to do the rest of them that I didn't do. So yeah, now I'm about to take some my all because my stomach is hurting because it's that time of the month again. And it's annoying. It's the, I think I'm starting to get regular periods. I used to always have irregular ones, but I'm thinking I'm starting to get them regularly, which is annoying, but I gotta put this in my little app. And yeah, cause I wanna try and know when mine comes, but since it's so weird and so irregular, I never know. But I'm hoping this app will help me. Did you guys ever have these um, when you were little, like chicken noodle soup stuff, or like preteen guide stuff? Because my grandma used to always give me this stuff and I used to like just never read it. I would just like throw it away. But apparently we still have to go put them somewhere because I don't want to throw them away. But no one's going to read them. <laughs> so I'm currently trying a DIY and I just realized that I can probably buy these letters from like Hobby Lobby for like a couple of dollars. But I'm deciding to DIY it and it's just struggle. But I'm trying to make an A box letter. I'm watching D Generation DIY. Because I remember watching this and I kept a shoe box from a long time ago. But... I have the A's and I have the long pieces, but my glue gun is like, I got two big glue sticks, which is weird because there's like so many different sizes and it said normal size. So I was like, oh, these are normal and it doesn't fit my glue gun. So I just kind of um, don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm putting these under here, which is where that was and it was getting on my nerves because it was just like a random cereal box under my thing. It's like, what the heck? Are you eating cereal in your room? Like, no, I'm not. But yeah, so I'm putting everything up now. And I'm going to finish it later because... It's too much work. And I'm gonna go eat something. And also, I didn't show you guys my finished room. Yay, I'm so happy because I was going to plan on just moving my vanity over here right now, but I don't feel like it because it's just too much. And like, this desk is really small, so I wanna get a bigger desk. I'm not sure whenever I can, but I just want a bigger desk so I can do my homework and my makeup and everything on one desk. And I won't have crazy for having two desks in my room. And I'll have more space right here, and that will just be here. So. I used to have my nail polishes. This is like my little side desk for my vanity because I can't fit that on my desk because it's too much. But I used to have my nail polishes right here and I moved them all to the top of this thing and I took down the stereo and I have my lotions down there. Those books I was planning on bringing upstairs but I just put them down here. I have some flashcards, my calculator for math which I don't have anymore. And then all my nail polishes up here. Then I kind of clean this area up a little bit. And then I put this blanket on the side of my chair. So like, I look YouTuber. Cause it's like, you know all those rugs that people have that are sheep skin? I don't own one because I don't know where to get it. So that's what it looks like. And this blanket is from Five Below. Only been there once, but everything's $5 or less. So yeah. And then I have my makeup and everything. Nothing much has changed over here. I just kind of cleaned and then I had to vacuum. And nothing changed over here. I didn't even clean under there, which I need to do. So, yeah, I'm happy about it. It looks really cute over here. So, yeah. So I just got out of the shower. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. I feel like it's two o'clock. I was like, oh wait, I gotta post an Instagram picture about my video being up. And my videos go up at two o'clock on Saturdays. And it's 11.40 and I was like, it's not even 12 yet. So I'm about to do my hair. It's been sitting in this top for a couple minutes. I just wanna go change. And it was like dripping wet and it was getting on my nerves. So. Um, what I'm going to use is this stuff that my my, my, my my sister gave me. And I also, I used this last night. I used both of these last night. But I had to redo my hair because I had wearing a bun. I don't know why I wasted the product. Just dropped that. Um, but my sister also has this stuff. And this stuff seems like more soft and gentle. So I'm going to use both of these. And I'm going to put them on my hair. And then I'm going to use a diffuser attachment for this blow dryer. And I'm going to dry it. But I'm going to let it sit. And I'm gonna, I think I might do my makeup under. I'm letting it sit. And then I'll blow dry it. So, yep. This is my natural hair. And it's pretty short when it's natural. It's not really that long. But I'm gonna put this product in my hair. So, yeah. <laughs> so I just put the product in, and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna um, do my makeup now. You know, I'm gonna let that sit. So, yeah. I'm kind of in the middle of my foundation, so don't judge me. But I wanted to ask you guys. 
You guys have elf brushes, and you guys know how I spent six dollars on this brush, and I've literally hadn't even had it for a week. In like one second, let me dry. I'm trying to watch a video. Um, when you open it, this already like broke like this, and my foundation, my foundation brush did it too, and I um hot glued it. I know it's not that big a video. It's just kind of annoying. It wasn't that expensive, and it's not the greatest quality like brushes. I mean, the, this one is the six dollar one is really good, and so is this one, the sibling one. Sorry, I'm trying to put this bottle on. Yeah. But it's kind of annoying how it does that. But I mean, they still work perfectly fine. And the brush is the only name part that you need to worry about. But I don't know. It's kind of bothering me. But I just kind of took off the thing because it was like getting on my nerve. But um, yeah. And then I finished my hair. I just put it in a bun. I may fix that. But yeah. This is torture. I actually thought this was dry. It's not. I washed my brushes this morning. I was like, I'm not going anywhere. But then my mom, one of my sisters, and I got to eat. So we're going out to eat. But this brush is not dry. And all my face brushes are not dry. So I'm done with my makeup. Um, it looks a little weird because I couldn't blend out everything because my brushes were still wet. But I borrowed a brush from my sister. I'm not sure if I said that, but yeah. I just borrowed an eye brush because her face brushes are weird. So I need to put, do my powder and blend out this contour that I did. But that's it. I'm done. So is this just me, but if you guys have naturally curly hair, do you have like pieces that are really straight and like you know, there's nothing you can do about them? You scrunch them as much as you can and they just stay straight? Yeah, so I have those hairs right here. So I'm about to curl them with my curling iron. I'm not sure why I'm vlogging everything I can, but it's fine. <laughs> if you know me, you know I always do this. Like I, I try to make my hair look really cute and like wear it down, especially when it's natural. It always ends up in a bun, always. Like it never fails. And it's because like my hair length when the lady cut it is just so terrible. Like if I wear my hair all, if I wear my hair all the way down, like it'd be like steps, like long, short, shorter, and shorter in the back. And it's annoying because it was cute and it was like, straight, whenever and you can't really tell but whenever it's natural it's freaking annoying so i had to let my hair grow out which i mean everyone's like oh you should let your hair grow out it's like i not not letting it grow out it's like i do nothing to it but um it's kind of annoying that she cut it like that and she didn't even ask me so it screwed out my naturalness of my hair oh i'm about to set up these cameras for chelsea's proposing and i need to set up my cameras and i forgot because I wasn't thinking about it. I was like, oh my god, I need to put my camera somewhere. This one's huge, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. And I don't know how I'm gonna press record because it stops every couple minutes. I guess you're not. But I'm using this one and this one, and I need to stop recording because this one will die and stuff. <laughs> so I'm not sure when she'll be home. I can't let I come with Zaxby's. We're gonna go get Zaxby's because we're starving. Or she's starving more than me. Oh, it's 4.09. I set up this camera. It's like, unless you're looking for it, you can't find it. And it's like, oh, she does YouTube. So her camera's just chilling here. Um, it's on. Because it can't record, obviously. It's off. But I'll turn it on whenever she gets here. And I'm not sure how long we're going to be playing Taboo. And hopefully it will record it. Same thing with this camera. This camera, I'm going to put right here. So, yeah. And I would text and ask her, like, are you still some prom posing just to me? Like, 100% sir. Sure. But I'm not sure because, um, sorry, I'm looking out the window to make sure they're here. Oh, they're back. Um, but yeah, I'll, yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'm saying because she texts, he texts for her sometimes. So, yeah. So my camera actually ended up stopped recording before, right before the proposal. Both of them. And it was so sad. So I'm sorry, but I didn't get any recording footage of it. But he said yes, and yeah, that's all y'all need to know. And what else? I thought this video was going to be really long, but it's not. And so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm not sure when I'm uploading it. Probably tonight when I'm saying this or tomorrow morning. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!